A lunch counter also known as a luncheonette is a small restaurant, much like a diner, where the patron sits on a stool on one side of the counter and the server or person preparing the food serves from the other side of the counter, where the kitchen or limited food preparation area is. As the name suggests, they were most widely used for the lunchtime meal. Lunch counters at one time were commonly located inside of retail variety stores or five and dimes as they were called in the United States and smaller department stores. The intent of the lunch counter in a store was to both profit from taking care of hungry shoppers, and to attract people to the store more often in the hopes that they might buy some merchandise or cross two errands off their list in one location. History Woolworths, an early five-and-dime chain of stores, opened their first luncheonette in New Albany, Indiana, and expanded rapidly from there. Lunch counters were often found in other dime stores, like Newberry's, S. H. Cress, H. L. Green, W. T. Grant, McClellan's or McCrory's. Members of the retail staff who had taken lunch counter training would staff the counter during lunch time, or if a shopper wanted to place an order for a snack. Typical foods served were hot and cold sandwiches e.g., ham and cheese, grilled cheese, BLT, patty melt, egg salad, soups, pie, ice cream including sundaes, ice cream sodas and milkshakes, soda, coffee and hot chocolate. <laughs> During the Civil Rights Movement Integrating lunch counters in the southern United States through the use of sit in political protests in the 1960s was a major accomplishment of the civil rights movement. These involved African Americans and their supporters sitting at the lunch counter in areas designated for whites only, insisting that they be allowed to purchase and be served food or beverages. Topic: Gallery equals equals see also